here we are right now or thereabouts approximo ahora Proximo ahora. ¿A dónde eres? ¿Y también cómo estás, señor, señoritas? Somos aquí en la clase de hoy. We are going to speak about, I would like to speak about, or today I would like to speak about, <laughs> inner world infrastructure. You know how we're always talking about the inner world? The subjective experience. Well, here are some real tangible assets that you can build for yourself. And, of course, this is just my own ideas. It's just my own opinion. So, let's crack into it. Let's not beat around the bush. We've got four categories of things. Number one, things you want large amounts of. Can you imagine some things that you would want large amounts of in your inner world, in your subjective experience? These are things that happen regularly. Things that happen with intensity. Things that overtake your experience and immediacy. That's the first category, things that have a large amount. Second category, the ability to deal with. Fill in the blank, dot, dot, dot. The ability to deal with. These are the things that if they go wrong, you can fix them. These are the things that if they happen, it is not a problem. These are the things that when they do occur, you know what to do. Category number three, a strong memory of. Now, I've written this one as memory. Now, of course, it's a strong memory of dot, 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 fill in the blank, same as the other two. Now, memory, memory is sort of not quite the right word. It's, it's, it's almost the right word, but it's not quite the right word. It's more like, like I want to say an awareness of, but we're getting a little bit abstract because when we talk about memory in terms of like a mind activity or an image in the mind's eye or an audio experience in the mind's eye, then that's not exactly the sort of memory that I mean. I mean a memory as in, a kind of a kind of feeling a kind of a kind of essence we have to get a little bit fluffy to say this sort of thing but it's like a memory so these are the things you want to be able to recall in a deep sense and the fourth category regular sessions of dot 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 fill in the blank these are things that you do on a regular basis. And, of course, I mean do, as in experiencing. Now, these regular sessions of things do have a doing component to them. They do have an external reality to them. But what you want is the thing that that external doing, that gross action, brings within you. Now, if you do these things... It will bring about a certain experience which will be great for inner world infrastructure. So, let's look at this. What would you want large amounts of? Well, you want large amounts of focus and motivation. You want large amounts of clarity. You want large amounts of dynamic thinking. You want large amounts of the ability to work. Work is a big one. Work is one of those things that 
we're sort of we sort of seem to be designed for it in many ways. I mean, people work a lot when you look at it, really. People really do work a very large amount. And the people that don't work, well, they have, you could say, something wrong with them. (laughs) They're abnormal, in a sense. And of course, I can't speak too much against these people because I've been one of them. (laughs) There is something that is unnatural about being without work. I mean, we even say this when we have it in a sort of, like a cliche sense, like, oh, you don't have a job. Like, oh, how demeaning. Like, what do you fill your time with? What do you occupy yourself with? Work is a big one. Work is a, uh, is a complicated one. There's a lot to work. But you want large amounts of the ability to work. I really should add to that the opportunity to work. You also want large amounts of flow state. You want things to flow naturally for you. You want large amounts of ecstasy. You want large amounts of grounding and openness. You want large amounts of agency and effect. Now, agency is a big one. Agency is one of those things that changes as your experiences change. We draw that line between saying, well, did you do this? Or did someone else do this? Or did it happen on its own? And within those three questions of the mysteries of the universe, did you do this? Are you responsible for this? Is this your making? Or did someone else do this? Or did it happen on its own? And I'll give you the answer to the question the punchline of the cosmic joke? The answer is yes. You want large amounts of patience. That one's pretty straightforward, right? It's an easy one to forget, though. And lastly, I've put, you want large amounts of identifying and reducing waste. Now, that takes a lot in your inner world to identify and reduce waste. To be able to see something as wasteful and be wired in such a way as to see it as waste and to therefore take the necessary actions to reduce the waste. So that's the first category. There's a lot to that. Each of those have really got quite a lot of different things to them. We could really expand out so much on each of these, but let's keep moving to the next category. The next category, the ability to deal with. You want the ability to deal with tangles. Now, another word for tangles is clusterfucks. Now, excuse my language, please. But that's just what a friend used to call it. And really, we can have a whole conversation just on clusterfucks. Maybe we will. But when you can identify them and deal with them, this is massive. This This can halve your suffering This can halve any sort of anxiety or worry or hang-up that you have, if not rid it completely. You want the ability to deal with falling off track. 
or we could say the ability to the 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 ability with making a mistake the ability to deal with making the wrong decision you want the ability to deal with problems can you walk in and say this is a problem i can deal with it and of course it's not just saying it but it is living it experiencing it having that subjective experience now sometimes we try to puff ourselves up like i can do it i can do it and of course eventually we go oh i can't do it i just can't do it you know that phrase <laughs> i just can't do it well that's someone seeing the problem and then having this feeling inside and of course sometimes there are other people watching on saying why on earth are you saying that this is just your feeling this is just your role in a larger picture of things this is just your emotional or kinesthetic or energetic response to an environment in a particular time and this sort of ties on nextly nicely to the next point which is you want the ability to deal with painful feelings because they are going to come they will return soon enough i hope not of course but chances are they will you also want the ability to deal with the lack of resources with scarcity dealing with scarcity is just as important as understanding abundance and knowing abundance and seeing abundance you want the ability to deal with a lack of support now of course this one gets very deep this one hurts hard because we all have a lack of support at times of course some more than others but really in this life in this world in this condition that we're in as human beings as homo erectus on this tiny speck of dust we don't have the support we need which ties in with my next point which is you want the ability to deal with unmet needs this whole thing of needs and having your needs met runs deep runs really deep and there will be times when you have unmet needs primal needs and we'll return to that point in a minute you also want the ability to deal with delusion and deception can you see when someone else is deluded can you see when you yourself are deluded can you see when you're deceiving yourself or you're falling for a deception that's a real mind trip that one and the last point i've got in this category is tying back with what we were saying just a moment ago about unmet needs and it is that you want the ability to deal with starvation and death it is possible to come to terms with your own death it is possible to come to terms with your own hunger for food literally now some people are living as though when they skip one meal they're going to die it's the end of the world there's something seriously lacking now of course biologically physically there's nothing really wrong with skipping one meal in and of itself it's not a medical catastrophe but therein lies the exact difference 
between the external world and the interior world, the subjective experience. And I don't think it's a mistake, I don't think it's a coincidence that the Buddha almost starved, him de- starved himself to death and then came out of that experience and had made peace with his own death. And I don't think it's a coincidence that many of the spiritual traditions, and many of the great mystics and sages of the ages, had fasting as a part of their awakening experiences or their divine experiences. So you want the ability to deal with starvation and death. Okay, second, sorry, third category. You want a strong memory of. Now, you remember what I was saying about memory. And it's not exactly memory, it's more like a feeling. So keep that in mind as we go through these. You want a strong memory of what is important. Can you call that up like right now, like click, click of the fingers, just like snap. Yep, I know what's important. Bang, here it is. Here it is in one word. Bleh. Spitting it out like a, like a sneeze or something. Or if someone says to you, what is important? You really have to think about it. And even then, even when you do, what comes out doesn't really resound. Oh, pardon me. Just let me take a sip of water. And clicking, clicking my fingers really made me lose it for a second here. Ha! Ho! Hey! Hey! You want a strong memory of how bad things can be. You want to be aware of the worst. You want to be aware of the dark times, both personally and collectively. And this ties in with the next point. Well, you want to be aware of, or have a strong memory of, where you've come from. You want to have integrated the things you've been, the things you've felt, the things you've seen, and all the rest of it. You want to be integrated. And the last point in this category ties in with the first point. You want a strong memory of your higher vision. And that can be taken in two ways, which is what your vision is of. You want a memory of what your higher vision is of. And yet you also want a strong memory of your ability to see things on a higher level, on a higher plane, with a greater importance, I might say. And now we come to the last segment, the last category. And this is a little bit more practical. You'll see how you can actually do these ones which will help with all these previous inner world infrastructures or qualities. You want regular sessions of being in nature. When you are in nature, around trees, around birds, around naturally flowing water, in fresh air, in sunlight, under stars, moon, rain and sun, Something happens that you cannot get anywhere else. There is a subjective experience that occurs when you are being in nature. You also want regular sessions of healing and purification. 
Wounding does occur. Toxification does occur. Venom does enter the body. Poison does enter the body. And of course it happens on all levels, not just the physical body, but the emotional, the interpersonal, the spiritual, the psychological. All of these levels need healing and purification. Of course, the body is the best place to start. You also want regular sessions of new discoveries and seeking. Understand that you have to have something new. You have to do something that you have never done before. You have to do something in a place, in a time, in a way, with a person that you couldn't have ever even really imagined yourself doing. And of course, we can launch off into the rant of you have to challenge yourself, you have to go new places, you have to try new things. La, la, la. You've heard that a million times. But on a deeper level, we call it seeking. We call it new discoveries. Just like discovering the treasure in the dragon's lair. Something like that. There's a reason why the dragon and the gold is at the end of a long journey. It's always a long, tra right? It's always a long travel to get there. It's never just down the street. They have to walk or ride their horses or sail or whatever. It's this long distance. And they have to be sort of after it. They have to have it as a kind of goal in order to reach that place. And I'm not going to quote any specific fantasy book because it comes up in many fantasy books. I'm sure you can think of some. And lastly, you want regular sessions of solo introspection. You want regular sessions of turning inwards, of looking at yourself, turning your mind into itself, turning your thoughts towards this question, what exactly are you, what it is, what exactly is it that is going on in this situation? So that's inner world infrastructure. Now this has come out to me, these ideas, these things, just as ideas, just as personal experiences. And of course there is always the cliché version of this. There is always, well, you want beauty, you want awareness, you want gratitude, you want compassion. <laughs> oh my goodness, don't get me started on compassion. Well, maybe one day we will talk about compassion a little bit more, but we'll talk about it when it's right. We'll talk about it when it's really resonating. So there are things you want large amounts of inside you. There are things you want to have the ability to deal with. There are things you want to remember. There are things that you want to do on a regular basis. And these are those things. And it really doesn't take much. And it really is amazing when you get just, just a taste of some of these. You really start to think, you really start to work and poise yourself towards a new compass, towards a new life trajectory. 
So those are some thoughts that are bouncing around today. My name is Dosta. Thanks very much for tuning in. And that's all I have to say for now. <laughs>